What's up guys? Evan and Megan again. What's up? John and Heather, our Hi, friends yeah. from Texas that we met in India and now we're all reunited here in Siem Reap, Cambodia. I almost said India. Uh, for New Year's. But today we're going to a handicrafts, uh, local handicrafts place done by Cambodian peoples and then we're gonna get some street food. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into over the next two hours. Woo! Two hours! <laughs> two hours! <laughs> Time limit. Taken. Start! You know, it's very nice here. Really quickly, just to keep you up to date, this is the first uh, local Cambodian uh, artisan uh, center, so it's not attached to the government or anybody else. It's all local Cambodian uh, handicrafts. Yeah. Wow. Made around uh, one week, two weeks. Yeah, wow. one week or two weeks. Uh, two depend weeks on, to make. on size. Uh -huh. Depend on size. Like this, uh, around one week. Bigger than this, around uh, two weeks or so. Oh, no, after that, yeah. that's yeah. And this one is a, we call a room dual flower. Room dual flower is a, mean that uh, our like, uh, traditional in Cambodia, uh -huh. the name room dual. Room dual it mean that uh, some. Uh, lady in Cambodia, the name is a uh, Rumdul also. Rumdul. Yeah, Rumdul. Rumdul. This is a marble stone head of the once king of Cambodia. It takes them two months to craft this by hand. That's a lot. Scooty! Wow. That's a lot of scooters. You know you're an Asian one. Yeah. Scooters. Oh, wow. I think we found it. We could probably just tell them. Here. Yeah. So. Right, we were at the market art place and now we're at another market gonna get some food. Uh, it's pretty hectic. We're just kind of trying a good spot. So let's see what we find. Wontons? Food everywhere. So I forgot to record this because we were talking and, and just, you know, sometimes you don't record, but we just ate at a food place and it took us two hours to get our food, which is a very long time if you've had a couple beers and you're hungry. Uh, yeah, so now we're just gonna kind of explore the night market a little bit more, maybe. I'm not sure what the plan is, but uh, we're gonna figure it out. This is kind of the night market area. It's pretty cool, typical Southeast Asian vendors selling the same old stuff you can buy from China uh, for like 50 cents. Um, uh, you know, it's part of the experience. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's very loud. Lots of music. Found Nemo. Oh my God, he's in Cambodia. How you doing, Megan? Hi, they feel Stimulating. Like it feels like my college days. <laughs>
Well, to end our little adventure out today, here is the house cat. Poncho. That is Poncho. I call her Stella. Stella. Estelle. Ow. Yeah, so all in all, a good day, eh? Very good day. Would you say so, Stella? Wow. Yep. It's New Year's Eve here in Siem Reap, Cambodia. I always seem to catch Megan just sitting in her bra. I Why don't you clothes. ever have a shirt on? I wear clothes more than you wear clothes. Maybe. Well, yeah, um, we're starting the day with some work, and then later we're going to do some partying with our friends. Whoop, whoop. But we're not going to stay up too late. Well, we're going to stay up to see the fireworks, but we're not going to get too crazy because tomorrow morning we're catching sunrise at Angkor Wat. So before going to Angkor Wat tomorrow eh, for sunrise, we're going to go to the Angkor Museum so we can see and know more stuff about the stuff. So that's where we're going right now. Also, check this out. That big building you see up there is full of swallows and they have these buildings that they just completely close off for swallow homes because they harvest their nests and saliva to make a drink out of it that they sell to people in China. Fun facts. There it is, the Angkor National Museum. I love museums! It is so hot. It's like 100 degrees it's and there's so traffic hot. and we were not dressed properly for this. Let's get inside. Oh. Look at the detail of this Megan statue. Here come the floods of people. Hey Megan, where are we? We're in Anchor Lot. What day is it? Uh, it's January 1st, 2024. Yep. Sunrise. Sunrise. To bring in the new year. Yeah, this is one of the steeper inclines we've ever gone down. <laughs> Yeah, they like. Wow. Megan for side <laughs> we uh, are up here to catch the sunset, which you can kind of see behind us, but between the crane over there and then all the people, it's a little difficult. There's a lot of people here. This is actually the most threatened um, site. temple, site temple oh, yeah. in this whole Angkor Wat, because there's so many people who visit here for sunset, so, whoops, didn't know. But, Sorry, temple. Yeah, it's cool. It's really pretty. Yeah, and it actually predates Angkor Wat by two centuries. Believe it or not. It's old. 200 years. Yeah, it's very old. 1300 years old, to be precise. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> 